Hey there, it's been a bit since my last video, but I'm excited to share some awesome news with you. I've just released a brand new Udemy course that's all about creating your own point and click adventure game using Unity and Playmaker. And the best part is you don't need any coding skills at all. The course already includes 36 video lessons and I'll be adding even more in the next update. And you will learn other things like utilizing scriptable objects to create custom item definition to be used with Playmaker, getting comfortable with using powerful FSM templates in Playmaker. With FSM templates, you can use it as a custom actions or as a FSM templates that you attach to a game object. Create a complex safe data structure in Playmaker that is applicable to different game genre types. So here, I'm just going to show you how it works. Here, I have the projects open and I have also created a new sub scene, which is the demo scene here. So I'm going to put this here. And here in this demo scene, we have an NPC here. For the NPC, I already created like the NFMS agent, capsule collider, and then uh, we have the model as well here with a controller attached to it. So here, to make the player to be able to interact with this NPC, I just need to add a Playmaker FSM, and then I can use the templates that I've created in this course, and I just need to use the interactable template here, and we need to make sure that the layer is interactable. So I'm going to increase the size here, and I'm going to add another Playmaker FSM here. And then for this one here, I'm going to use the Move NPC. And I can just drag this Playmaker to the slot here. Basically, this will trigger these actions whenever we are interacting with this NPC. This is going to be the base interactable FSM that we are going to use to most of the game objects, whether if it's an NPC or an item or a door or anything. And for the type, I'm going to change this to top. So it will show a bubble icon when I hover to this game object. And for the move NPC template here, I'm going to drag the child object, which is the model that has the animator as the actor. And then for a target, I've already created an empty game object here. This is the target and this target is actually in this position here. Okay, so now let me just show you here if I press play, then I can talk to this police officer and if I talk, the police officer will move to that position. Okay, so this is one way to do it. And we can easily change this or extend this NPC here. So for example, we want to create like a dialogue system first. So I can create an empty game object and I can rename this to dialogue A for example. Here I can add another Playmaker FSM and then I can use the template dialogue FSM here. And for the dialogue, I can add a message. Let's just type police officer Let's just say, what do you want? And we can just like say uh, for the yes line, I want to go through, for example. And for no, let's just say nothing. And here we need to set the sender FSM. So I'm going to drag this FSM here. And for the yes actions, we can trigger the move NPC FSM that we've just created before. In order to do that, I'm going to lock this and I'm going to add a new inspector tab here. And for the second inspector tab, I'm going to put this below so I can drag the FSM. So I'm going to select the NPC here and scroll down. And for the move NPC here, I'm going to drag the Playmaker FSM and then put it here. And now uh, let's just unlock this here. Uh, we can close the second inspector now. And here on the root NPC game object, I can just drag the dialogue A here to be the interactable FSM that we want to trigger whenever we are interacting with the police officer. So here in the dialogue A we have set up, uh, we don't need to put any no actions if we don't want to run anything. Uh, we need to enable the ask questions checkbox here. So I need to do that and I'm going to save this again. And now let's test this. Here I'm going to talk to this police officer and you see that we should be able to dialogue here and now we can respond with nothing or we can just talk again and then we can try to say I want to go through and then if we answer the first option that it will move away and we can move. So yeah, you can see how easy it is to create different NPC behavior by changing and mixing different FSM templates. And if you haven't been using templates in Playmaker, you should as this reduce FSM redundancy on different game objects and it also makes it easier to manage changes. I have put a link with a discounted price in the description that will be expired in three days from the date of this video. 
So what are you waiting for? Enroll now and have fun developing games.